Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis has stated that she expects the trial against Donald Trump and his allies in the Georgia 2020 election subversion case to continue into the 2024 election and possibly conclude in early 2025. During an interview at the Washington Post Live's Global Women's Summit, Willis expressed her belief that the trial would be lengthy, lasting for several months. She added that she does not anticipate it reaching a conclusion until the winter or early part of 2025. Trump's legal troubles are now intersecting with his campaigning efforts as he embarks on his third run for president. This has caused scheduling difficulties and uncertainty for both his lawyers and campaign staff. While a trial date has not yet been set for the Georgia case, the leading Republican candidate for the 2024 presidential race is already facing a civil trial starting on January 15, which coincides with the Iowa caucuses. Additionally, he has two criminal trials scheduled for March, with the first one beginning the day before Super Tuesday, and a third criminal case starting in May. In the sprawling racketeering case brought by Willis against Trump and 18 of his allies, the former president has pleaded not guilty to over a dozen charges related to the attempt to overturn the 2020 presidential election. Four defendants have already accepted plea deals in the case. Willis had initially sought to try all the defendants together. But Fulton County Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee allowed two defendants to separate from the group in order to have speedier trials. However, they ultimately accepted plea deals last month. Although McAfee did not set a trial date for the remaining defendants at that time, the timeline he outlined indicated that it would not begin before December. Willis believes that appeals in the case could extend for several years. She emphasized that she does not consider election cycles when deciding which cases to pursue, highlighting that individuals across the United States are under investigation for crimes ranging from minor offenses like shoplifting to serious offenses like murder. It would be a disheartening situation if someone under investigation for shoplifting could simply run for city council and halt the investigation, Willis remarked. That's illogical, and it's illogical at any level, 